there was a sense that we were on the cusp of taking a lot of information that had largely been locked inside the medical care system and opening that up to people. We really felt that what was happening just wasn't ambitious enough. No one would argue with the idea that good information is a prerequisite for wise decision making. And so it stands to reason that consumers and doctors need good information to make good decisions about medical care. The problem is there's very little information on how people are supposed to make good decisions and integrate the information that's out there and combine it with the realities of their own lives. We don't want to drown people in data. Data has to be helpful for patients to make actionable changes in their care. The data by itself, I don't think, helps patients. It's really about the context of that data. We need to design a better healthcare system that allows patients and providers to collaborate on an ongoing basis. It's a novel notion that patients should sit at the table equal with the doctors in many ways. People talk about it, but when I talk to doctors and say, you know, everything you do is going to be an open book to the patient from now on, some of them are horrified, some of them are excited, and some of them really question it. We try to understand the kinds of health challenges people face in everyday living, understand what kinds of information and decision challenges they need, and then design and deploy technologies that help them do that. When we engage in our health, when we take that active role in our health, that improves our outcomes. We need to try things. We need to learn from them. We need to find the people who are excited about changing things and doing things differently and understanding uh, how they can do that. We're at the very early stages of this revolution.